last Tuesday, we started a series of Take Fives with the same theme of do not forget. We won't forget. Always remember. And so we started with the Lord's Supper, Jesus instituting that at the Passover meal, the bread and the cup reminding us to not ever forget the sacrifice and the price that was paid for our sin at Calvary. And then last Friday, we looked at the cross, and we saw how that image of the cross reminds us of how much Jesus loved us, enough to pay the ultimate price by dying a horrific death for our sin and our forgiveness. And now today we think about the image of the empty tomb. Whereas on last Tuesday I had right there in front of me the elements, the bread and the cup, a visual reminder. And then on Friday I had the visual reminder of a cross in the background behind me. An empty tomb is a little bit harder to come by as a visual reminder. Not one that I can easily go to and do a take five in. And so I give you this visual reminder, the empty tomb. You think of what it must have been like on that Sunday morning to go to that tomb and to realize that Jesus was no longer there, that he had indeed risen. Several powerful reminders that empty tomb gives us. First is that Jesus Christ is indeed the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, that he reigns supreme, that he is indeed God, he is exactly who he said he was, because he did exactly what he said he would do, and he is on the throne, and he is king, and there is no one or nothing in this world that is as powerful as our risen Jesus. It also reminds us that there is victory in Christ. He overcame the grave. And his victory becomes our victory. The devil is defeated. I'm sure the devil thought that he had won on Friday night as Jesus was laid in that tomb. But the devil is defeated. Because on Sunday morning, the blood started flowing. The muscles started twitching. Jesus stood up and walked out of that tomb. The visual of the empty tomb reminds us that death has been destroyed. It is no longer the ultimate enemy. It's no longer something that we have to fear. And on the other side is the presence and the love and the grace of Jesus Christ. Death no longer holds any sting. And then the empty tomb reminds us that Jesus Christ is coming back. He's coming back for us. The tomb is empty. Jesus Christ is coming back for us. Now, if we are still alive at his return, or even if he calls us home before his return, we know that because of the empty tomb, because of his death, there's resurrection. Without death, there is no resurrection, but because of his death, there is resurrection. That's why he calls each of us out of the tomb, just as he did Lazarus. That's why he calls each of us into a relationship with him, that when we are immersed into Christ, we are buried with him. We share in his death and his burial. And Paul says in Romans that if we share in his death and his burial, we will most certainly share in his resurrection. Too many times Christians forget this. The same power that was at work as Jesus Christ rose from the dead and exited that tomb. That same power is at work in my life and your life. What a visual reminder it is of how great our Savior is. Friday, we've got one more take five in this Let's Never Forget, Let's Always Remember series. It's my conversation that I sat down and had with George Murphy as he reflects on September 11th, 2001, a day we will never forget, a day we'll always remember. We'll see you on Friday. Uh -huh.